What's up, fight fans? Mr. Mustache here. This Saturday, we got a fucking awesome women's fight in the UFC. In the UFC, we got Aaron Blanchfield taking on Tyla Santos. And a fight that's super under the radar. You got Aaron Blanchfield, who is a super prospect, and I already consider her a title contender. She hasn't lost yet within the UFC. I think it's a five-fight win streak. And for me, the fight against Miranda Maverick really stands out to me. And at that time, Miranda was... In her own right, the super prospect, this girl who is just like a freight train moving forward toward title contention, then Aaron Blanchfield's Aaron Blanchfield's like hold my fucking beer and completely dominated Miranda from start to finish in that fight, and that was the second Aaron was on my radar, right? Since then she's rattled off three straight submission victories over JJ Aldridge, who was a UFC prospect in her own right, Molly B. Bulbacan, and also most recently over former World champion Jessica Andrade, I mean, she just she just showed that the potential, the the limit for her career moving forward, it just shows that really, I mean, Aaron Blanchfield is a title contender in the making. This fight against Tyler Santos, who's coming off of a title loss to Valentina Shevchenko, a split decision fight in a fight where I personally thought she won. She started off very strong, gave Shevchenko a lot of problems early on. Shevchenko was able to regroup, was able to switch up her game plan a little bit, and was able to win the later rounds. But I really didn't think it was enough for her to defend her belt. It was a very close fight. So Santos, she's right there. She's the title contender. She's dangerous in her own right. She took the now former champion to the brink. So this is a great fight for Aaron Blanchfield to really get herself right there as either A, the number one contender after what possibly could happen with Alexa Grasso and Valentina. Because if Valentina gets her belt again, then there's going to be a third fight. You know how that whole thing can possibly play out. So, But Aaron, I think she's the truth. I think that if she can get a hold of Tyla, I think it's game over. I think that she's just going to run right through her. But Tyla, she surprised us before. She could surprise us again. I absolutely love this matchup, and I think that Aaron, she's the truth. I think that she is the future champion in the UFC flyweight division. I think she's gonna give everybody problems, and she's only 24 years old. She's only gonna get better. Like that's what people don't understand. Like she's doing this to former champions, people who are huge UFC prospects in their own right. At the time, Molly McCann was riding all the confidence. She went right fucking through her she went right fucking through miranda maverick who I, I i still hold in very high regard so i think the sky's the limit for aaron blanchfield but also tyla santos she's a very formidable opponent she looked very good against valentina shevchenko she was able to stop the high train hype train of joanne wood beat jillian robertson i mean so tyla man she's got a phenomenal ufc resume in her own right but i just think that Aaron Blanchfield, I just think that she's just on a whole nother level, and she's only going to get better from here on out. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this awesome, almost contendership fight between Aaron Blanchfield and Tyler Santos. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Guys, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. And again, also guys, if you haven't heard already, I'm doing a little bit of a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers, you have to subscribe. You also have to hit the follow button. I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway. I'm going to be given a very mint Vicente Luque Panini Prism autograph for free to any random guy, but what I or not guy, but any random fan who subscribes to my YouTube channel and also follows my Instagram, but you have to show me proof to make yourself eligible. And once I hit 500 subscribers on my YouTube specifically, then I will pick my random winner. And you will win a Barry Mint Vicente Luque Panini Prism autograph all for free. And guess what, guys? To subscribe and to follow to my YouTube and my Instagram, totally free. So to help the channel grow, guys, throw a little bit of incentive for you guys. So please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It only helps the channel grow. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight fans.